Hello and welcome to part two of our investigation about whether or not ladies' bras retain bacteria, yeast or fungi and whether or not there is a connection between bras that have not been washed and whether or not we can recover any pathogenic bacteria, yeast or fungi. So we're back at the lab. It's been 48 hours since we inoculated samples that we took from a, a range of different dirty undergarments. And I'm gonna get the plates out of the incubator in a minute and show them to you. Now I'm at the incubator and after we sampled each one of these bras, we plated it out onto three types of Petri plate media. And the first type we're looking for aerobic microorganisms. These are your typical bacteria like Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. I'm also looking for yeasts and fungi. And so I plated out swabs taken from each of the bra types onto Petrifilm media, which is selective for yeast and fungi. And the third type of media that we used was specific for Salmonella. Now, I said to you that I'm not expecting any of those microorganisms to be present, but you never know. And so I'm now going to open up the incubator and I'm going to talk you through what the findings are. I'm excited to see what the results are as well. Now, you might recall that I had a range of different bras. Now, none of them had been washed. And I'm told that uh, basically they were just extracted from the wardrobe from various different uh, family members who supplied these sample garments uh, for me. And certainly eyeballing the Petri film for the gray lacy bra, I'm pleased to see that there looks to be no microbial growth. If we move forward to the classic nude bra. That was a much larger bra than some of the others. I have recovered a few bacterial colonies on here. And we'll zoom in on this in another part of the lab in a few minutes. Again, no salmonella, which is great. Now the sports running bra is negative for yeast and mold. Again, probably eight or nine colonies of bacteria were recovered from the sports running bra. No salmonella. If we look at the black bikini bra now, wow, the black bikini bra has definitely recovered quite a few bacterial colonies. Now, considering that this was swab sampled and that I have no idea how long this bra had spent in the wardrobe or potentially on the floor or in the hamper before it was provided uh, to me for sampling, I don't really know what the underlying conditions are or uh, how it was worn or whether it was used for sports or whether it was straight out of the pool or the beach, but certainly the bikini bra has returned and cultured up quite a few different bacteria. And if we look at the athletic running top, again, it's negative for fungi and yeast, but there are two colonies of bacteria recovered. So what's the takeaway message? Well, in my opinion, the bras that I have sampled in this small experiment do not lead me to a conclusion that women and bra wearers are at any increased risk of cross-contamination with bacteria, yeast, or fungi than if you were to touch any other common item uh, in, in the world. So there does not look like bras retain microbes to any appreciable degree. And that is good news for women everywhere, because I don't think based on this small sample 
that anyone needs to be concerned about the impact of bacteria, yeast and uh, fungi on their bras. However, it is a good idea to make sure that you wash your bras every two to four wears. And certainly when I've gone to the websites that sell bras throughout the world, the frequently asked questions usually contain recommendations regarding washing. You should consult the recommended washing instructions for your specific bra or sportswear undergarment. And unless you are in a particularly humid climate, which would um, promote the growth of microorganisms just due to the amount of available water activity, I'm of the view that these undergarments do not pose any specific health threat although washing and care instructions should be followed wherever possible. Anyway, that's the summary after we've done the experiment looking at typical aerobic bacteria, yeast and fungi, and selecting for a target pathogen like Salmonella, which we certainly wouldn't want to be able to find. In any case, this has been a very interesting little experiment. I think that Laura Henshaw uh, really has nothing to be concerned about, although those who are doing high uh, physical activity workouts wearing undergarments and sportswear should probably wash them frequently, but there is no probable healthcare risk to public health by not washing them after every use. Thanks for watching. My name is Dr. Cameron Jones. I'm an environmental microbiologist. Put your questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Bye for now.